Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I have some super fun for you today. I'm sending you all good vibes. So here is a super fun project that I created. I'm loving it, and it's going to be the inspiration for our project today, except we're going to get a little wonky. So here is the stamp set that we're going to be using. I'm going to be using the Something Good stamp set. I've got this cool palette going here. I'm also going to be experimenting with some stamp layering in my background. And I'm going to experiment with some of the graphic elements in the new Mandala Maker stamp from Rena Krupski. There's a couple elements in here that I'm just dying to kind of just integrate into the um, the frame element in my stamp set. So I'm gonna play with this a little bit. I'm not really sure which ones I'm gonna be using. We're just gonna get the design going and see where it goes. But I really think some of those graphic elements are gonna fit nicely into the frames. I've got a piece of jelly bean green here that I'm gonna be using for my um, card base. And I have some Gina K Designs layering white cardstock for the card base. And also another piece of it to, to create some of the embellishments for the project. So let's get started on creating the embellishments. So I'm using the Tangerine Twist and the, the big open floral element in the Something Good stamp set, just stamping that down. And I'm now gonna take the stamp that's more of a solid, but you can see there's lines, texture lines in this stamp set. And I created this stamp because I want it to mimic my watercolor or blooms and flowers that I paint. And I wanted you to be able to get that watercolor look by stamping with ink. So I love this color combination. I'm just gonna give these little embellishments a trim and fussy cut them and set them to the side. I've got the Elegant Script um, rubber stamp, rubber background stamp here. And normally when we use this stamp, we think about using it horizontally. I'm gonna turn it vertically and just adding a little bit of ink down onto wild dandelion, of course, adding it down onto the stamp and just gonna pull a little print so that we can kind of see that background, but it's now vertical. So it gives you a completely different look and it's gonna be really <laughs> kind of fun on this um, project. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up with wild dandelion and ink up the frame stamp from the something good and i'm kind of i'm giving it a wonky turn so i'm just giving it a little bit of a 45 degree turn to the left just so that it's a little bit wonky and when we start to layer everything on top that's linear it just kind of gives it a little bit more added texture and dimension so Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my um, innocent pink here and take that big bloom and just stamp it right down in the center here as a layering piece. And it, oh, I cannot wait till you see this. So stamping that innocent pink down on top of that wild dandelion, just kind of mix, but look at the wild dandelion coming through from the Elegant Script. Oh, I just love how the colors just layer each other. It's very watercolory, and it just, oh, the transparency is just so beautiful. Okay, so again, using that flower as my anchor, I'm going to start to build some uh, of the leaf elements just kind of popping out of it. So I'm using Tangerine Twist here and I'm not so worried that I'm layering over top because I'm going to be adding our embellishment pieces on top of that. So you're never gonna see all that mess underneath. Let's see how pretty it looks. It's just gonna layer right over top. So I'm loving the way this is looking. And I'm not gonna adhere them yet because I'm going to pop in the sentiment. So I'm starting with the good and I'm using some black onyx ink. And I nested the good sentiment right there on that corner where the angle is for the frame and just kind of nesting it right in there. And going to take the vibe sentiment, just put it right up underneath the good. And then just gonna go ahead and grab the sending and just nest that right in between the G. So we got sending good vibes. Okay, so now it's time to take a look at the Mandala Maker stamp 
set. And there are several graphic elements in here that I think work really well with this frame. So I've grabbed this graphic element and I'm going to ink it up in some passionate pink. And I'm negotiating with myself here on how it's going to nest into the angles of that frame. But there are three different spots here that I think it's going to look really good. And it's just kind of going to add to the wonkiness of this design because I've got things going vertically, I've got things going in a 45 degree angle. Um, so, and what's going to bring it all together is the color and the stamped images, and it's just going to be kind of a funky, wonky card. So, I'm really digging the way that graphic element looks up at the top but I'm having a little bit of a tough time figuring out where to put the third one. So I just moved on and grabbed a different element from the Mandala Maker just to kind of add a little extra to the sentiment. And I never do this. So this was out of my box for me, just adding a little bit extra um, pop to the sentiment to just kind of draw your eye to the sentiment. So I took the graphic element and I just stamped it down onto a piece of the white layering cardstock and cut it out to use it as an embellishment. I really didn't love the idea of stamping it down onto the layer because it kind of just was going to booger up with the O a little bit too much. But creating it as an embellishment and just layering it there really just kind of made it work a little bit better with the sentiment. So now I'm just in hearing the embellishments um, right on top of that base floral, just to kind of get this whole card base going. And I trimmed it down just a little bit. Now, I am into major negotiation with myself right now. Now, normally I would just turn that card, layer that card right on that card base and have it be very straight up and vertical but because there's so many wonky elements happening in this card and there's a lot of movement and things going on I thought hmm let's just turn the card base a little bit and line up all of those corners with an edge but just kind of a little bit wonky to the left and um, yeah kind of digging it so I just added a little bit of connect glue to the bottom to the back of the card base because the connect glue gives me a little bit of time to shimmy it around and move it so I'm just moving it into position and um, really kind of digging it and I don't do this ever so this was super fun but I really felt like the colors were fun and this kind of design that I created here was super fun so it kind of warranted being a little bit more wonky so here are the two cards together the one on the left was the inspiration for the card on the right and I'm really kind of digging this this is super fun goes really well with the sentiment of sending good vibes and um, just adding all these little graphic elements from the mandala maker just kind of made it sing a little bit and pop and just kind of add to the whole vibe of the card. So here's a final look at the wonky card. I hope you enjoyed today's card tutorial. Thanks so much for joining me. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.